So today I want to go over how you can easily make yourself stronger for leveling up in Diablo 4 and this is going to cost a very small amount of gold and potentially save you quite a lot of gold in the long run. So the basis of this strategy comes from a gold saving method. So in Diablo 4, all of your skills damage scales from the base damage of your main weapon. Meaning when you're leveling up and gearing up, you're always going to want to be using the weapon that's going to give you the highest base damage. Even if that weapon doesn't have good affixes for you, it's probably still going to be worth equipping the highest base damage you can get. But this also means you're going to be changing out your main weapon more than any other piece of gear in the game and you're going to be doing it very frequently, meaning you're not going to want to be imprinting legendary aspects into your weapons because you're just going to be wasting a ridiculous amount of gold and early on in the game and basically through the entirety of the game, gold is one of the most important resources in the game and at the lower levels you don't have a lot of gold. And one of the main ways to get around this is to put your best offensive legendary aspect on your amulet instead of your main weapon because it's still going to give you a similar amount of power from that same legendary aspect but with amulets you can get one with some decent rolls and you're not going to change it out for most of your leveling into the end game and that's where this specific strategy comes into play. And there's two things you're going to need for this. First off, you're going to want to follow the main campaign until you get to the boss called Lilith's Lament. And once you kill this boss, you're actually going to get two legendary pieces of gear. You're going to get a random drop from the boss. And then after you talk to Vigo, he's going to give you his amulet. And his amulet has decent stats. It's a legendary amulet, so it's going to have the four different affixes. And then it's going to have a generic power on it that's generally not that good, especially if you're in Sol core and after you get that the second thing you're going to want to do is go into your codex of power and find the offensive legendary aspect that's going to be the best for your build and if it's in a dungeon that's in one of the later zones or halfway across the world just go for the strongest one that's in your general area so you're not having to wait halfway through the campaign to get a legendary aspect and most builds should have a pretty strong legendary aspect in one of the dungeons in the fractured peaks and once you have both of those all you're going to do is go imprint print that offensive legendary aspect you got from the dungeon onto Vigo's amulet. And this is going to be pretty cheap. I think it cost me 6,000 gold to do this. And once you have that really good offensive legendary aspect you want on Vigo's amulet, you're not going to have to change out that legendary aspect till you're probably close to completing the main campaign and close to starting into the end game. The stats on this amulet are good enough and you really don't have any reason to change out your amulet up until that point. Meaning you're not going to be wasting a ton of gold and resources on constantly re-imprinting this really strong legendary aspect you want onto new pieces of gear. You're just going to keep this one amulet basically until you get into the end game. And that's legitimately all you're going to need to do. This is going to save you a lot of gold and also increase your power by making sure you always have your strongest legendary aspect on your amulet. And I fought this boss at level 17, so you're going to be around level 15 to 20 when fighting this boss, so you just need to get to that level, and then you're basically going to have your strongest offensive legendary aspect all the way up until you've completed the main campaign and started in the end game and then you could start using all your gold putting your build together but that's all i want to go over so thanks for watching